Yeah, it's your boy Gruff here back with another video and today I got this video guys man today we are back with the Dragmon Legends creator appreciation now since um you guys know I do these every single month and it's crazy how it's September already bro like I felt like all this was flew by really quick I don't know about you guys but all this went by quick for me and it's crazy so we're back with another one the last person we did was virgil so i did a video on him and he actually replied actually <laughs> appreciate the video which is pretty dope that dude's about to hit 10k subs so man keep grinding virgil and yeah so we're gonna hop into the next person i want to talk about now i see a lot of you guys in the comments was like um maybe talk like for the next one do do someone that's like that has a little bit that's not as popping um, you feel me? So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna take that into consideration. And I was like, you know what? I found this guy. I was like, yeah, I think this guy deserves it, bro. This guy deserves it for a video for him. So, yeah, without further ado, let's get on with the video. So, we have my boy, man, Vara, Vara, man, Vara, Vara, man. I had to make a video on this guy. Um, this guy, I mean, I guess you can kind of say he's a, he's a underrated YouTuber based off his, his subscriber count or whatever, I guess. But yeah, let's just do one on him and let's get started. So how did I meet this guy? It's actually pretty interesting. I mean, it's not really interesting. Uh, I guess it's more of how we, the first time we talked to each other. I think that's how, I think that's pretty interesting. So, um, I met this guy through 10 HQ. Now, um, 10 HQ, we had a really... <laughs> We had to be really posting any videos for like what three three weeks, bro. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Don't, don't ask me anything, any questions about THQ right now. I honestly don't know anything about that group, like what we're what we're doing. But I think everybody's just pretty busy. But that's how I met them because um, <clears throat> I was just in the group chat and I was just looking at who the people are. Vara, I was seeing like the Razor Badge, Joku, Billy, Autumn. And I didn't know nothing about Vara. I was like, oh, okay. I didn't know about him at all, but. What was interesting is like when we were making videos, he wasn't really in there because um, sooner or later I found I, I found out that he works like during the time we were making videos like the collab videos, he would be working so he would pretty much have he pretty, when he gets back you pretty much see the video like the video would already be done for that day so he really didn't get the chance to excuse me he didn't really get the chance to like say anything or even be in the videos or just talk or anything right so. That's what that, it, it took me. It took quite a while for me to actually talk to the guys since what I think THQ was made. I, I joined there in April, and it wasn't until like it wasn't until late May or early June that I actually first like kind of talked to him, which was actually kind of crazy. But, um, yeah, so the, like, anyways, our, our first conversation was kind of crazy because. I don't know. I think I think there was a raid. It was something. It was a raid or something like that. It was a raid. I think it was a raid, and I was just we were just up. I was up, and I was like, "Yeah, I'm finna grind a raid." And he was like, "Yeah, let's grind a raid." And that was the first time talking, and we was just in the voice chat, just chatting. And it's crazy because, like, the first conversation, like, I just felt like we we, we bonded pretty well. We had a really good time. It wasn't really awkward. You guys know that there's sometimes where you're talking to someone and it's like you say something and then it'd be like mad quiet and everything like like there'd be mad pauses and mad quiet quiet like just like just moments but us we were just kind of just chatting just flowing and everything it was pretty dope and it was actually pretty dope because this guy's pretty much he's around the same age as me he's also a college student which was pretty dope because a lot of the people that was in the group are really old like like they're they're older than us um, like Joku, I mean Joku's not that old, but but he's old. Bats is old. Like there, there's just a lot of OGs. I guess you call them OGs. Yeah, there's a lot of OGs in the group. So, me I, when I came in, I was thinking like, oh man, I'm like the youngest dude out here. And then I was talking to him. He was he's actually a year younger than me, which is pretty awesome. Um, I didn't want to be the youngest person there. So, yeah. But anyways, we just had a lot of common like being a college student and all that stuff and. Then we just been talking about regular. We just been talking about random stuff. It didn't have to be. It's not all about legends. We be talking about anime and shoot, favorite chips. I guess I don't know parties and stuff. We be talking about just like the college life and everything and like about having dorms and what class they doing, all that stuff. So we had a lot of stuff in common, which was pretty interesting. Why like, I feel like we we kind of bonded really good, which was pretty dope. And 
not only that, uh, this guy is a Broly fan. Like, I don't really know any other YouTubers. Uh, you guys can comment down below who else is a Broly fan, but I think he's he's the first person, he's the first creator that I know that like loves Broly a lot. Um, I can't think of anybody else. A lot of people likes Gohan. A lot of people likes Goku, Vegeta, Frieza. Like, I just don't think I know anybody that likes Broly more than this guy. I just don't think so. Huh, yeah. I don't think no one likes, likes Broly more than this guy. So, that was pretty dope. He was like, yeah, I'm Broly. I mean, well, when you check out his channel, like, you, you literally see Broly has his, has his Twitter banner, YouTube banner, his profile pic. So, when I seen that, I was like, oh, yeah, okay. This guy's a Broly fan. It's pretty dope because not a lot of people like... There's not a lot of creators that, like, supports Broly like him, similar to, like, how Piccolo is, which is pretty dope. And when I tell you, this guy, he will make six to seven videos on every single Broly. He will do it. So, hey, I'm looking at his channel right now, the free-to-play Broly. I remember uh, we was grinding the raid together. He actually was, I was actually, actually helped him out getting Broly to 14 stars because there was actually one point where he wasn't even, he didn't even, he didn't even get the chance of having him to 14 star because he did a live stream and hardly got him to like the next star level. He had him at seven and at the end he finished off with eight. So I was telling him like, bro, you're never you're not gonna get him to 14 stars and everything. But this dude literally stayed up the whole night, mind you. This guy came. He had he, he came from his job late at night. He also has paper due. He had a he had a college paper due like three of them do that that next day. This dude did not go to sleep. We was grinding it, and I was like, all right, I'm going to go to sleep. I'm going to hit you up. And then I texted him. I was like, you still grinding, right? He said, bro, I did not even go to sleep, bro. And I was like, no way. This dude has been up grinding the raid, typing up an essay at the same time, bro. Bro, Broly, bro, for, just to 14 star that free-to-play that free to play Broly, bro. That just shows how committed he is about his Broly, which I respect because I'm the exact same with Piccolo, bro. So... When I saw that, I was like, you know, let's finish up the, the raid together. That day, we finished it up, and he finished his paper at the same time. I mean, at, on the same day, which is insane. And he got the video out, which was pretty dope. And also, one thing I like about him was his live stream. I remember he wanted to he wanted to know how to how to live stream. I actually, actually had him in a VC showing him like what what he needs to do for the live stream. And he's able to live stream, which is pretty dope, because I like to chill in his live stream whenever he, he summons or, or just plays PvP. I think he's a really dope guy. So I do like his live stream a lot. I think he should do those more often. I know I need a lot of you guys want me to live stream, which um I just got to get college situated. Once I once I understand, like, I, I could have a really good schedule, I'm going to start doing live streams again. Maybe two, maybe, maybe on the weekends I'll probably do the live streams. But... This guy does his live stream. He summons on every unit. So you guys definitely check him out, bro. Really dope. And I guess the last thing to say to him is his his grind is actually really good. Like, I really appreciate his grind because you got to understand that this guy is a college student. So majority of his days is classes. And he comes home. He has to do. He has to write notes, study, do his homework. Then not only that, he works. He works a really. He works a job, which is pretty much takes up another part of his day. Right, so then when he comes home, it's really late, and then he has to think of a video idea for the next day. So um, that's 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 really that's really strenuous because just just that alone is already hard. Like right now, I don't have a job, and I'm do I'm just a college student, and sometimes it, it does get difficult to even do that. So the fact that he also has a job as well, and he's doing the thing, same thing as me, and he's still able to really put out a consist put out videos consistently, shows a lot and. This guy's about to hit 500. I know this is a, a a goal for him that he wanted to hit at the end of this year. It's, I feel like he's going to hit, bro. He just needs what 72 more subs for him to hit 500. I feel like he got. I feel like he he has it, bro. He's got to stay consistent, and I think he's going to hit more than more than 500 at the end of this year, bro. He he's been he's been doing really really good on this channel, and not only that, uh, one thing about him is this guy hates Quelifla. He hates Kale. 
and he hates Teflon, bro. He hates all three of them. Some of these people know. Some of the people that watch my channel knows how much he hates them. Like Roots, uh, T Water, Default, Bats, Joku. Like a lot of you guys know how much he hates this guy, and especially in Twitter where we be, we be, we be trolling him, Jahudi, like <laughs> all them, all them boys. Like we all know like how much he hate him and stuff, hate them and stuff. Which I mean, it makes sense why he hate him. It's, it's basically kind of like the same reason why a lot of people hate those three, those three characters. But it's pretty funny. It's pretty funny that we we troll him a lot about it and stuff, but. Yeah, that's pretty much it with this video, bro. Vara, keep up the grind, bro. You're going to hit 500. Just stay consistent. I know it's, I know sometimes it's, you don't feel like making any videos, but just stay, just, just keep pushing it. Keep grinding it out, bro. And you guys haven't not heard about this guy. He's a Broly fan. Check him out. He makes some really good content. And yeah, that's pretty much it with this video. Right now, I got to order my dress suit for Vara's wedding with Kefla. Um, all white. We're going to go to Cancun. With T Water, Jahudi, all them boys, we all for being all white for his wedding. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And uh I'm just playing as well. I'm just, I'm just playing. But yeah, uh, like, comment, subscribe, and you're a grip, man. And I'm out. Peace.